Mega Stallion did a Pepsi commercial that is very similar to the infamous one that Pink, Beyonce, and Britney Spears did. It's in reference to it, I believe. I just saw both of them and visually, they're pretty much the same. Well, first, I'm, I'm reading the caption now. They did the same theme to, I think, pay homage to that infamous commercial, but it's also promoting the Gladiator movie. <gasps> that was smart. I okay. like that. And I'm not mad at their choice. I'm glad they picked Meg the Stallion, but paying homage to that original commercial i wish we had like a big three for this commercial too so what they did was they had meg the stallion rapping over the song we will rock you by queen and then they have popular like football players well taylor swift's boyfriend or no fiance they're engaged t i don't know for sure at the time of this recording i would just say her man's her yeah. man's is in the commercial and you know they had a lot of press. public outings and press together i am a little disappointed disappointed we didn't get a, a little like girl group together for this i love meg the stallion but i really did want to see like two other women that are like coming up right now what kind of threw me off for a second is that you see her rapping right and then they pan the camera to the stadium and you see tigers running out and immediately i was like oh snap tyla's about to be in this and you see how i already associated like tigers with tyla because that's part of her brand is I it yeah since when were tigers part of her brand she calls her fans tigers oh <gasps> I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. So I thought she was about to come out. Yeah. I was like, oh, that'd be genius because homegirl is big. Mm -hmm. She's huge right now. So I think she could have been part of that three. And who would be the other third? Megan, mm. Tyla, <laughs> just for fun, Sabrina Carpenter. She is huge right now, too. Yeah. Though. I'm going to throw some names out there. Do you think Beyonce would come back to it? She did a Verizon commercial. <laughs> I mean, Beyonce could do anything, but if they're paying homage to the original commercial, I don't think she should return to it. So there's Sabrina Carpenter. You want to throw her in? <laughs> Chapel Roan. Chapel Roan. She can justify for sure. Lady Gaga. I mean, yeah. Like, okay, let's let's look at the original three. There's Beyonce. And obviously at the time she was known for Destiny's Child, her R&B, Britney Spears. Pop, Pop girl. girly. And then Pink. More of like her like rock. Punk. Punk side. Yeah. So we have Meg the Stallion was already chosen, so she represents like more of the rapper side, more hip hop. Hip -hop. Tyla's more Afrobeat, right? Afrobeat, R and B, R and B, pop R and B, yeah. So we need that pop girly. It's giving Sabrina. It's definitely giving Sabrina. I feel like it also could give Ariana Grande. Yeah, she could do it. I'm surprised she hasn't done any commercials like that. Well, everything with her is about Wicked. <laughs> Taylor Swift. I'm surprised she hasn't had one. Yeah. Especially that her man's is in there. I'm confused. I'll say this. I don't love the commercial. I like the direction it, it's going in. It could have done more and it would have left a bigger impression on me if we had the big three. Yeah, and I think that's why maybe we connected so much with the first one. Mm -hmm. Was the nostalgia there. My millennial heart is just like very connected to that first commercial. It was cool because you have all three of those singers singing in the style of their like genre. The, their genre. And in this one, you just get hip hop rap. I wonder what the original three think of this commercial.